welcome back to another video. It's something a bit different this week. We've got this Ford TW25 in and the front hub seal is leaking. So it's not my usual type of work, but you can't beat a bit of variation. So I've not done one of these before, but it's not rocket science, so I'll soon work it out. So I've got the wheel to take off, the hub to take off, and then find out which seals need replacing. So what I'll do first is I'll jack the tractor up, turn the wheel round so that that bung there is at the bottom and then I can drain the oil out of it and then I'll take the wheel off. That doesn't look very nice. There's not much oil coming out of it. So next step, I think you undo that Allen bolt there, and that Allen bolt there, and then the f should split by there. This bit should come off. So inside there is your planetary gears and a lot of metally looking oil. So I think you undo that big nut next. There's a locking tab there and then undo this nut. So there's a big outer seal there in the hub, that seals onto, onto there. And then I think to get to the inner seal, which is in there, you have to take them kingpins out and then this whole hub comes off. So I think now I'll take that circlip off, see what's behind there. I think I'll have to take that off anyway. And then this will come off separate and the shaft will stay there. 
um, and then I'll have to take the track right end out. Put to the injector end off the paving. The injector end. Right, so I've got the track rod end out, got them bolts out of them, top and bottom. I'm just debating how heavy it looks, whether I should strap around it and lift it off or whether I can lift it off by hand. That's off, it wasn't actually that heavy. Just, oh, that'll be why it's leaking. Yeah, so that's the surface that the seal runs on. So that is why it was leaking. So I've got the half shaft pulled out and that sealing surface is the same. So I think it's gonna need a new one of them and a new one of them. So I've got this separated up here, and apparently you can't get new ones of these anymore. I'm gonna have to fix this one, I think. Now, people on the Facebook Ford page have suggested machining it down and putting a speedy sleeve over it, but to me, speedy sleeves don't seem like a proper fix. It just seems like a bit of a bodge to me, so I think I'm gonna put it in a lathe, machine that bit down a little bit, build it back up with weld and then turn it back down to the same size as that. I've got that mounted in the lathe now. I've made some little copper soft jaws just so I can hold it without damaging it. And I've got it dialed in to about 0 0.02 of a millimetre. And I'm just gonna take a few cuts off where that bad bit is and then I can build that back up with weld again. Right, so we've got this ready to uh, TIG weld up. 
I only bought it just before Christmas and it's February now so I haven't had much practice with it and my TIG skills are very limited but hopefully it should be good enough to do this job. I've got one run of weld round there done. To say that I've got next to no TIG welding experience, I don't think that went too bad. I'll just wait for it to cool down a bit and then we'll do another run. So we've got one more pass to do and then we'll be about there I think. Uh, I'm using 145 amps. I've got that welded all the way around now. It's not very pretty but it should be enough to fill what I machined off. It's only for a seal to run anyway. Um, there's a, like a brass bush that runs on that bit but this is only for the seal to run on. So that's what it looks like after, that's what it looks like before. Uh, it's maybe not perfect, but should seal on that a lot better than it does do on something like that. So I've got the other one in bits now. This one's not quite as bad as the other one, but you can I can feel there's a bit of a ridge. So I'll do the same. I'll machine a bit off it from about there down to there, build it back up with weld and then turn it back down again. Right, so I've got both of them repaired now. They're not perfect, but they're a lot better than they were. Um, I've started putting it back together and put some new uh, universal joints in. So that's a cross, that'd be a universal joint. Um, if you don't know how they work, they're just cups and they're full of little like needle rollers and then they just roll around on that. Then the cups press into them. And then they can rotate in two directions like that. that's that back together now with new universal joints in it and uh, I'll just give it a smack with a hammer just to seat them cups back against the circlips and then it's not binding binding up but it's ready to go back in the tracks now I just need to wait for the new seals to come so I've got a new seal <coughs> to go in there and I've also got a new bush to go in into the axle and I've got a new bush to go into the hub and a new seal to go in there I'm just waiting for that bigger seal to come and then we can start putting it all back together but I can change these bushes and them seals first
So I forgot to press record when I put the bush in, which is annoying, but I put the bush in the same way as I put the seal in here, just with this block of metal that has a bit of a shoulder machined onto it, just to fit inside the bush and the seal. So that's new bushing and the new ceiling. We'll put new bush in there now. So I've got the hub set up in the little press. I'm just gonna press the bush in, it'd be easier than trying to hammer it in. So I put a new seal in the back of the hub as well. Uh, the old one didn't look too bad, but while I've got it in bits, I put a new one in and then I know it's right then. So I've had these planetary gears out, um, cleaned up all the crappy oil that was in the back of them, put them back in. All the circle clips are seated nicely, so that's all ready. You see me put new seals and bushes in them and there. I'll just give that a clean up. Wheel bearings are all right, I think. They just want to be tightened up a bit tighter than what they were. And then we can put it all back together. So I've got the half shaft put back in. I've got the sun shaft put back in there. Hopefully I can uh, slide this hub over the top of that and then put the kingpin back in the top there. So that's the hub back on, um, little thrust plates in the end there, you can see when it turns how much that drive shaft slides in and out.
So I don't have a proper socket for doing this nut up, so I'm just using the good old screwdriver chisel just to get it tight. Doesn't need to be super tight because it's um, it's uh, for a wheel bearing. So I've tightened that big nut up, that's what tightens your wheel bearing, your wheel bearing up. And now I've just got these, the main cover and the uh, pantry keys to go back on. Fill it up with oil and then oh, I'll track it in to go back on and that's it, job done. Right, so that's the hub back together. Uh, I just need, I'll just put the wheel on now and then I need to fill it up with oil. But the drain bung is also the level plug. So I put the wheel on, jack it back up so, I, so that wheel will turn. And then I'll bring that level round to up here. And then fill it level four with oil. So it's just back together now, just needs a hub filling up with oil, but um, I'll do that tomorrow because I'll have to get some more oil. So yeah, that's it. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I don't usually do much mechanic in like, this type of work, um, but it's nice for a change, so I don't mind doing it. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time.